Matthew chapter 26, there's lots of drama. There's lots of intrigue. There's a plot to have Jesus killed. There's the woman who comes with the alabaster flask and anoints him. There's the betrayal of Judas. There's Jesus and instituting that last meal with his men. And then they make their way from the upper room across the Kidron Valley to the Garden of Gethsemane. There he asks his men to pray. They fall asleep. Jesus says, could you not watch with me for one hour? He understands and he even makes a statement. I know the, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And then Jesus all alone begins to pray. And he says something very important. He says, Father, if there's any other way, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. He said, Lord, if there's any other way that people can be saved, that their sins can be forgiven, if there's any other way that, that I can restore mankind to you, then let this cup pass from me. I don't wanna to go to the cross. I don't wanna bear your wrath. He said, but if that's your will, I'll do it. See, here's the thing. There is no other way. In fact, Jesus would and has said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. And when he says that, he's talking about the cross. There's no other way for you and I to be cleansed, to be healed, to be forgiven, except through Jesus taking that cup, the cross, and drinking it. And he says, not my will, but yours be done. And sometimes I think God brings us to a place where we have to say, Lord, if there's any other way to get out of this mess or restore this relationship or whatever it may be, and God says, no, you got to do it my way. And that's where Jesus came to there. I've got to do it the Father's way. We're called to do it His way. And there's only one way you and I could have been forgiven and saved. And that's by Jesus saying, not my will be done, but yours. And He goes to the cross. Chapter 26 of Matthew, read it. Amazing what Jesus does and what God has done for you and I. Thank you.